Hello, this is Lee Milan with Okta. In this video, I want to show you a demo of using Okta to secure your Citrix Zen app and Zen desktop login identities. Specifically, I'll be showing you how to secure your Netscaler Gateway login portal using SAML with Okta. And it's important to know that the solution works with any and all versions of Citrix. It doesn't require the use of Citrix FAS or Citrix Federation Authentication Service. In this demo, I'm specifically going to be showing you what the end user experience would look like so you could see what your users are going to see and how it's going to work. All right, so first thing is, I'm going to take the role of an external user who's traveling and needs to be able to log into a Citrix resources. So I'm going to open up my browser, and I'm going to go to my company's login page. Now, because the Citrix environment is configured to use SAML via Okta, what happens is when I go to that Netscaler login page, I'm automatically redirected to my company's Okta tenant where I can log in. Now it's interesting to note that I also have the ability that if I needed to, I could reset my password or unlock my account. But in this case, I don't actually need to do that. So I'm gonna log in as a user. Now, because I'm external, one of the things that happens is I am requested to do multi-factor authentication. Now I have several different multi-factors that I can choose from. In this case, I'm gonna demonstrate the multi-factor of OctaVerify, but I do have to complete at least one of these. So in this case, I'm gonna show you OctaVerify, and specifically I'm gonna show you OctaVerify push. So I'll select OctaVerify push. What happens is I get a notification on my cell phone, as you can see on my screen, and it pops up. Now, one thing that happens is it's requiring Touch ID, so I'll validate my fingerprint, and then I can select Approve. And that completes my multi-factor login process and will log me in and completes the login process. So now it logs me in through Netscaler in the storefront and shows me my applications. So now I can access all of my applications and my desktops that I may need to have access to. Very simple and very easy from an end-user experience and also very secure using SAML authentication. Now, one other thing I'd like to show you real quick is I'd like to show you what the registration process looks like. So I'm gonna log out of this user and I'm actually gonna select a different user this time. So I'm gonna take the role of a user that hasn't yet logged in or registered with multi-factor before and show you what that process looks like. So once again, I'll open up my browser and I'll go to my company's login page. The company login page, of course, gets redirected to Okta because it's using SAML authentication on the Netscaler page. And I'll log in with a new user. Now, because this user has never logged in before, she is required to validate her multi-factor authentication for the very first time. And as you can see, IT is able to select which multi-factor options I'm allowed to choose from. And they've given me a variety of choices just so that you can see what all those choices may be. In most instances, the configuration you may want to use may only be one, two, or maybe three of these. You wouldn't necessarily want to use them all, but I wanted you to be able to see all the different options that are available, and I need to select one of them. In this case, let's actually select setting up OctaVerify. So I'll click the setup. Now it's going to ask me what type of operating system that I have on my device. And this is because this is an Apple phone that I have here. I will actually select Apple. And then it tells me what I need to do is I need to go to the Apple Store and download OctaVerify from the App Store. I've actually already done that in this instance. So I'll click Next. And then it's going to ask me to, okay, it's asking me to open up and launch OctaVerify and scan this code with the camera. So I'll select OctaVerify. I'm gonna tap add account. I'll pick up my phone and I'll actually scan that barcode. And now that's added that successfully. And as you can see, it shows up as a successful configuration. Now I have the option where I could configure additional security options if I want to, or I can just click finish. And it completes my process and logs me in and shows me access to those resources. Now to take it one step more, I'll once again log out of this user. And I'll go back and I'll re-log in as that same user again, showing you what that process would look like. So 
I'll go to my company's login page. Of course, I'm being prompted to log in. And of course, I'm being prompted for multi-factor authentication. Now, you'll notice that I don't have the option to choose different multi-factors because I only registered one of them in this case. So let's go ahead and complete that. So I'll select send push. In this case, I get a notification on my phone. I'll tap approve, validate my fingerprint, and it's gonna complete my login process and log me into the resource. So it logs me in through the Netscaler into storefront and completes my login process and allows me to launch all of my desktops and the applications that I need to have access to. So this completes this video. Thank you very much for watching.